Welcome back to the last episode in our Understanding Carbon Dioxide series. Today, let's take a look at how NOAA monitors CO2 and other greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. NOAA has been collecting CO2 measurements directly from our atmosphere for 50 years at the Mauna Loa Baseline Observatory. This is located on the side of the Mauna Loa volcano over 11,000 feet above sea level. Here, the remote location, the undisturbed air, and the minimal influences from vegetation or human activity make for ideal conditions for monitoring greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. The data collected at the observatory, in addition to other measurements collected around the world, are incorporated into the Global Greenhouse Gas Reference Network. This is a foundational data set used by international climate scientists, as well as a benchmark for policymakers attempting to address the causes and impacts of climate change. In addition to the research being done at sites like the Mauna Loa Observatory, the NOAA Global Monitoring Lab collects data on CO2 and other greenhouse gases via an aircraft program, a cooperative flask sampling network, and the Air Corps Atmospheric Sampling System. By using these various methods to collect data, scientists are able to develop a comprehensive view of CO2 levels and how they're changing over time. A common question we get is, how do we know what conditions were like before we collected data? which is a really good question with a really fun answer. Similar to the way a paleontologist looks for fossils and rocks, climate scientists look for trapped air bubbles, dust, salts in ice. Researchers collect ice cores and then bring them back to the lab to analyze them to see what the atmosphere and climate were like hundreds of thousands of years ago. And that is where we get our historical data.